cruise ship cruise of reddit what's it really like to work and live on a cruise ship you will never be alone relationships happen really fast your body clock changes grudges can fester everyone higher rank than you is an idiot if you have a solo room then you might as well ride a blank booty check everyone sleeps with everyone the food for crew is nearly inedible you will never find a free washer unless you camp out in the laundry room for a few hours. There are usually about 5 to 15 washers slash dryers, and anywhere from 1000 to 2500 crew members. The rooms are tiny, and your shower curtain will always be trying to get to know you biblically. US citizens aren't paid that well, but some countries, where the conversion rate is really good, make some serious bank. South Africa, especially. We do get to get off in port and go have a good time. Many ports have crew discounts for food and drink. However, most contracts last for around 6 to 8 months, so after a while, the same old ports every week start to really wear on you. There is a crew only bar, and beers are $1.50. Some ships have a crew only hot tub. That's all off the top of my head. We had a saying every night is a Friday night and every morning is a Monday morning. Every day is Groundhog's Day. This is very true until you burn yourself out and then it becomes a Monday evening and you collapse in a heap. I worked on cruise ships as an engineer for 3 years and it was some of the best fun I've had in my life. I worked 10 hours per day every day for 4 months but the social life was enough to keep you going. My first trip was largely uneventful however as I spent my time focused on work as I wanted to make a good impression but in my last month of that contract I met a cool Italian guy who was an absolute player and he took me under his wing. I was slash am an officer and this brought the benefits of a large cabin with double bed and windows, windows are rare for crew as they mostly have internal cabins, I realized I could use this to my advantage and went from the shy 20 year old to an absolute whore. I'm not bad looking either so that helped me a bit. The traveling was fantastic and I traveled the world. My favorite part being the very north of Norway where in the summer the sun didn't set and there was sunlight all day long. Alcohol, including spirits with my company, was very cheap and you would often find yourself buying drinks for an entire room of people for very little cost. I could, as an officer order room service and there were even some crew cooking in their cabins and selling it to other hungry crew members. All in all it's a hard lifestyle to maintain and sleep is limited if you're social and want to go ashore at the same time but in my opinion, totally worth it. If for a few years in any case. Transcribing for a family member who helped fit three new cruise ships in Italy and then crewed one for about nine months. The crew was basically divided in half. There was a huge group of Southeast Asians, quite a few were even family members. They mostly stuck to themselves and did a lot of the manual labor style work. The second group was 18 to 30 year olds from US, Canada, Australia, France, and England. The younger kids humped like rabbits and drank like fish. Most people would blow every paycheck going nuts at each port and drinking on the cruise ship. The older Southeast Asians very rarely drank and very rarely did much at port other than pick up some personal supplies. The rooms were pretty small and the vast majority of them were shared. The meals for the cruise was pretty bomb, and you could also eat or drink anywhere you wanted on the ship as long as you were off your shift and not in your work clothes. It seemed as if the general consensus was it being a great experience for a short period of time but it is not something you'd most likely enjoy for more than a few seasons unless that type of lifestyle appeals to you. You have to take a somewhat intense physical before getting on board. This includes a drug test. Random drug tests also happen while on board. Moral of the story? If you want a cruise ship job, stop smoking weed three weeks ago. Long working hours very small shared cabin with walls thinner than paper so you can hear everything your neighbors are doing, crew food is bloody awful unless you like living on boiled rice. Crew bar is very cheap, but also full of creepy guys hitting on everyone and insanely gorgeous girls sneering at everyone. But none of that matters. In 5 years on cruise ships I literally traveled the world. I went to Europe Canada North. South and Central America including Alaska and Hawaii Asia Incorporated China Japan and India Africa. 
I basically visited every continent except Antarctica, and went to over 75 countries. I took a sled dog ride in Alaska, whitewater rafting along a river through the jungles of Costa Rica, visited Alcatraz, had an authentic curry in Mumbai, spent a day on a luxury yacht sailing around the Caribbean, snorkeling at the Great Barrier Reef, visited the Great Pyramids in Egypt, been to the lost city of Petra, spent days in Barcelona, Athens, Rome, Kiev, and so 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 much more. None of the bullshit you have to put up with on board matters compared to that. One of my friends plays in the cruise band. He said he practices like one or two hours a day and plays a show. Like four hours of real work. Then he just drinks at the crew bar and supposedly partakes in orgies or threesomes. He fucks the dancers, they're usually pretty hot from what I've seen. Also he said there's no such thing as a dry country. You can find somewhere to drink in port, even in strict Islamic countries. I worked on a major cruise line out of a port in Florida. Crew bar has cheap drinks, but you're technically never supposed to be drunk. You can find most crew there usually always smoking cigarettes, drinking beers and getting a little too drunk. Not much else to do when the ship is at sea. Most crew members have families back home and a lot have girlfriends on board as well. That is just a part of ship life. Crew members are super hard working and work weeks are 70 hours a week without a single day off for 6 to 8 months at a time. Most crew members rely on tips for their wages. My position was salaried for $58 a day, I was an officer on board working in the guest services office. Came out to roughly $1,400 a month after taxes. No one else is taxed besides Americans on board. The best way to describe no days off is, waking up to your alarm and every single day feels like a Monday morning, for those that actually have normal work weeks. My position shared a bedroom with bunk beds and really small bathrooms. You could shit, shave your legs, and brush your teeth all at the same time. Depending upon your position on board determined if you had guest area privileges. I was allowed in guest areas, but after spending all day with the guests that's the last thing I wanted to do. You're always on duty and your supervisors have 24 hour access to you at all times by just ringing your phone and waking you up in your cabin. Sleep was very limited, so every off hour was spent trying to catch up. Wi-Fi was $5 a day for 24-hour access to limited social media apps or $10 for 100 minutes unrestricted. I spent way too much money on the shitty Wi-Fi. Overall the people you live and work with is what makes your experience on board. Some days are worse than others but you somehow manage to get through it. Most of my friends work for cruises, since we work in technical theater production, it's an easy hire. Cruises are either a great way to save money or an awful one. Your lodging and food is paid for, and you're getting paid, so that's great. But cruises are boring. Sure, cheap booze and free travel is great for the first little while. But after a while, it becomes like Squidward in that episode where he finds his perfect down. So routine. So boring. Wi-Fi is usually anywhere from $5 a day to $10 an hour and there is no cell service. So. When you're not working, you're trying your best to find anything to do. So a lot of the time you'll start spending money on anything new, and then you're not saving or enjoying yourself, so there's little point. However, many people still enjoy the life of the routine and the travel, and figure ways around spending money. Just know, it's harder than you expect to be one of those people. But if you can be, it's a great opportunity. Worked on a cruise ship for 3 years. Some key points. 1. If you're American, you are minority. My ship had over 2,100 crew members, and only about 40 of us were American. You are seen as a rare, magical unicorn. 2. Fighting for an open washer or dryer in the laundry room is hell on earth, and whichever dildo put too much detergent in their machine every week, causing the laundry room to overflow, you are a soap terrorist and my soggy sneakers will never forgive you. 3. Food is provided, but the two most common ethnicities on my ship were the Philippines and India, so the crew cafeteria was usually full of food I wasn't used to, like pigtail stew and fish heads. I ate a lot of salad and mashed potatoes on my contracts. 4. Think of a time you did something embarrassing while drunk at a bar. 
Now imagine having to see every single person who saw you do that embarrassing drunk thing, every day for months and months. That's what ship life is like. It was awesome, though. You travel for free, drink for cheap, and save a lot of money since you aren't really paying for anything unless you want to. I'd suggest it to anyone who has no strings attached, and is willing to work hard for 6 to 8 months at a time. Not me personally but a couple former co-workers did. One girl was a shopping guide. Pretty prestigious cruise job. She'd give presentations about portside shopping and recommend what shops to go to. This involved making partnerships with the local shops. Those recommendations are obviously very valuable to the show owners. So in exchange for them, she got to purchase designer clothing and jewelry at or below cost. Another girl had a somewhat less prestigious job. Can't remember exactly what. Either worked in the onboard shops or was part of the entertainment departments. What other people have said is pretty accurate according to her. Cramped quarters, cheap moose, debauchery but never with the passengers, long working hours, and a lot of boredom in between. One thing she did tell me is the cruise lines, the well-known ones anyway, are very anal about cleanliness. If there's even the hint of a norovirus outbreak, it's all hands on deck and the entire ship is scrubbed down with disinfectant. But while the ship is clean, certain lines will sometimes cut corners when it comes to maintenance of the mechanical systems. Think the infamous boop cruise from a few years back.